This is Outdated, and welcome to part 44 of Let's Play Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. This episode is entitled, Monkey Business. So, last episode, we finally finished off Kanishiro. It took us 26 attempts. The boss battle before that, Lady Butterfly, we beat and won. The boss battle before that, oh hello, that's what these night jars were protecting. Um, so after defeating Kanishiro, we came down here, or we came across to the top of where this was, and we'd been in here before, but it was empty, but we found Lord Ishin, Kanishiro's father, and he actually was glad we stopped Kanishiro, but I feel like he gets a sense that Kanishiro will be back, just like I do. So, how do we get back? There's the window I came out of. Oops. There. What is this? Okay, he's going to the library. Hey, look, the library. Ooh, treasure. Gun for Tron key. <clears throat> oh, this dust is awful. I have returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes. That seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, I found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. Okay, so a flower, the mortal blade. My lord, this is for you. Could this be? It's a Sakura droplet. That's... When the Undying Pledge of the Dragon's Heritage is broken, it's said that this remains in place of the Oath. Do you think this one was left behind by Lord Takeru? That seems likely, Wolf. If you so desire, I can use this Sakura droplet to assist you. If you should be so kind. Of course. Close your eyes. My lord. Lord Takeru's dragon blood lives on with you. I humbly accept. Yes. You may open your eyes now. My lord. Okay. That was a boon. Granted by Lord Takeru. Use it well. Yes. Alright, I wish I could have seen what they did, but A okay. Flower. First, read this. Fragrant flower note. So there's some flower I need to get to put in the incense. And when we finish the incense. What is. Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead Aroma, and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the Fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the Fountainhead Aroma. A place where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes, indeed. 
The sunken valley may be the place. The fountainhead water should flow into there. Where is this sunken valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the White Serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the sunken valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. Okay. My lord, this is for you. This is a document written by one who sought the fountainhead aroma. I see. It says there's a fragrant stone in some sacred village, but I've never heard of such a village. It is beneath Ashina. Now that you mention it, about the well near the Moonview Tower, I've read it may have some connection with the bottomless hole. This may be worth investigating. I will take a look. Good. The text did say to throw oneself. I wonder what that could mean. Okay. A place to throw oneself. I've seen a place where that might be possible. You have? There is a great, seemingly bottomless hole in the abandoned dungeon outside Ashina Castle. An old woman there. She told me to throw myself in. Hmm. But the place you throw yourself into, you believe it's connected to somewhere? Yes. I felt a faint wind blowing in from the direction of the Tory Gate. I think I will try jumping into it. It's worth a try. But do be careful. You're leaving. Wolf, I'm counting on you. My lord. Okay, now notice I have three orbs for resurrection. One of or one of which isn't full, but that's what that did when the screen went blank. I, I wish I would have just like kept the screen up, but okay, where does this lead? Check in a minute. Huh. Eh, let's open it. <clears throat> so I know I've got some stone I need to find. I have a flower I need to find, both of which I need for the incense, and then I have a, um, the mortal blade I need to find. Oh. Resting's not a bad idea, I guess. Emma? So, you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor, Dogen, devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices was able to salvage some of it, probably Dojun. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. Okay, hey, let's see, do I? Master Wolf, it looks as if your brow is less furrowed than before, if only a little. Hmm. Please, see that Lord Kuro's wish to sever immortality is met. All right. Goodbye. Can't use that yet. I need the flower and the stone. All right. So this is all aftermath, basically, from the fight with Genishiro that shows you what kind of a gatekeeper level fight that was. So where are we headed now? I've got a few options. Hmm. Going 
after the mortal blade, I think. guy I talked to before is gone. There we go. Sorry, I had to do a different clip here. I think I forgot something. I don't know why, but I'm th thinking... that I forgot something, let's see. So this has all been kind of aftermath of the fight with Genishiro, all the talking and stuff, but it does set me on a path to, you know, the rest of the plot, basically. Oh, hello. Tengu. Ah, Sekiro. Who are, hmm? <laughs> Ministry rats. They find a way in through every crack and crevice. There's always more of them to kill. By the way, Sekiro, have you mastered any secret techniques? Yes. Yes. It seems you have. Sekiro, you really have a knack for killing. Wonderful. Here's your reward. Thank you. And another text. Sekiro. More skills. I know you. <coughs> <coughs> You all right? <clears throat> I'll enjoy the air up here for a little while longer. Go, Sekiro. Does he have Dragon Rock? He might have Dragon Rock, but either way. So he just gave me a new set of skills to learn. Once you have got the best skill from a skill tree, so essentially you've mastered that skill tree, it, oh, he can give you a new skill tree. And I've jumped here to the temple grounds, because um, I know they said it's at Senpu Temple. But um, he can give you a new skill tree to learn from. And that skill tree actually is a skill tree that you can only get the skills if you've mastered two or more of the other skill trees. So um, it's like a combination thing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show it to you here. So this one I'm working on now. I need to spend some skill points anyway. So he'll only give it to you if you have gotten the final skill in a skill tree. Like on this one, the one all the way to the right. And that's true of all of them. It's always the one all the way to the right. And I have done that. So I just need to spend the skill points I have. Might as well see. There's a few things here. We get that suppressed sound. Sounds good. And back we go. Why I came here to do this, I have no idea. We need to go to the main hall. Here we are, back at the Senpu Temple, and. That guy we talked to is gone. But we're about to do this. Our next boss fight. folding screen monkeys.
and you're looking at the boss arena. And you can see the screen there with monkeys depicted on it. One that looks like it's looking but at a great distance, monkeys. one that's yelling, one that one of the has a cone over it like you can hear, and then a blank one. And there's one of the monkeys. <laughs> Alright, I think he saw me. Okay. So, the folding screen monkeys. There are... It looks like there are three of them. And if I'm remembering correctly, they guard the mortal blade. And they guard access to a specific character. Now that bell I put is for this encounter only. And it allows me to reset the position of the monkeys. So I have to get Yet and kill all of them. Was lost in the halls of illusion. I believe you are on a mission. And wish to leave this place. Yes. Then you must defeat the monkeys depicted on the panels at the hall entrance. Once you have done so, the divine child's voice. The monkey in the purple kimono is the seeing monkey. He has excellent eyesight, can see great distances, and is very attentive. If he spots you, he will run immediately. He is exceedingly timid. Okay. The monkey in the orange kimono is the speaking monkey. While he does not have particularly good eyesight or hearing, he makes a big fuss when he sees a threat, causing all the other monkeys to run. Oh, perhaps he merely enjoys toying with humans. Okay. The monkey in the green kimono is the hearing monkey. He has excellent hearing, can hear across great distances, and is very attentive. He will generally run away the moment he hears you coming making it hard to approach. He is exceedingly timid. Okay. So I do start. not wish to leave the halls of illusion. It is usually quiet here, which means it is near to Nirvana in its own way. At least, that is how it feels to me. Oh, yes. By the way, there was once someone who, like you, was on a mission. I believe he chased the monkeys for a while, but everything here eventually went silent. I pray that you succeed. Okay, so it's kind of like hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. But I need to take on and kill these three monkeys. And there they go. Oh crap. One fast enough to do that. Bell. Oh, and that's the hearing monkey, and that hurt him. Ah, one monkey down. Two to go. You can see that its boss health go. Wait a minute. All right, its boss health went down, but it did not go down a third. It went down a fourth. Is there another monkey? Okay, let's see. What is this? It's really windy outside. Can I open this? What's that yellow? Oh, the wind blew out the candles. But what's that yellow? Hello. Aha! There was a fourth monkey. That must be Do No Evil. Well, he and now he's dead. Okay, so two left. The seeing one and the loud, obnoxious one. I think I see one over there. Let's see if I can sneak up on it. Something saw me. That's not one of them. 
That built terror up. Oh, not good. We must release these as we go. Uh, I was hoping that would do the job, but it didn't. Stupid terror monkeys. Hey, they dropped something. Thank you. Okay, where are they? Anything back here? No, but going back here does make it hard for them to see me. So this is what I would definitely call a gimmick fight, but there's no like clearly spelled out gimmick. It's you have to figure out the puzzle that gets all four monkeys, and it does have you know with those monkeys spawning in that there is something you have to beware of. Wait, is that? I think I see one. You see one. Yes, got it. The loud obnoxious one is dead. That only leaves one. <clears throat> that only leaves one. <clears throat> it's dark in here. Any way up here? No, wait, what's this? Is that him? Oh crap, it's another. It's another terror monkey. Terror and shove it. I'm looking for your monkey friend. Whatever it is. Uh, not there. Where are you? Oh crap. More terror monkeys. Okay, got that one. Oh crap, my terror monkeys on it. Got you. The only short ones are on, but then that helps. Ow, stop it with the hair. Stop it with the monkeyness. We got that one. Heal. Lord, where is this guy? And three more terror monkeys just spawned in. Great. Right, here, make that two. Make that one. Wait, there's another one that came up behind me from the fight before. Ow, ow, ow. Tear, tear, tear. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, man, he teared me and I died. But I have my res. This fight didn't over, I have my res. Man, you just leave me alone. Go monkey around with somebody else. Alright, I've still got one left. Where in God's name is he? Wait a minute. I've mostly been looking on these move buildings back here. Somebody just saw me. I haven't gotten my resurrection power back. No, cool room, but nothing. Hmm. Let's see if I don't see if I see him somewhere. Someone who saw me. I'm going to replace the pellets with a pacifying agent because there are more, like, because of those darn terror monkeys. When I'm fighting them, I need it a lot more than I need health. Nothing. 
Jackson. Let's pop up here where I can get a view. That's back where I started. Where are you? Crazy. Wait, did I just see him? Is that him on the tree? That's him on the tree. Yes! Yes! Done! And boss fight in one attempt. It's getting your groove back. Sanctum. So, folding screen monkeys taken down in one attempt, even if it was a long one. Oh, where am I now? Wow. The inner sanctum, and that is beautiful. And I got the memory of the folding screen monkeys. And a new skill. And that's going to be it for now. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. When we return, we will find out what's in the Inner Sanctum. We will um, meet a very important character. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you next time. This has been Outdated. Peace. Out.